Hello booktube community and welcome to another installment of Erin's Book Club. Luckily I got all of my housework done. I'm just waiting for my laundry. So as I'm waiting I was doing my reading and the magazine that I'm going to review today is the 2017 Canadian Horse Annual. And you know what? I, I really enjoyed it. It was the health and welfare issue. So all the articles were based on like, you know, foot care, genetically modified foods, rescue cases, really enjoyable. I think I sat and read through it in, in two hours. Um, they do a really good job of keeping your articles short and lots of well-placed pictures for each article, lots of good information. The entire magazine had something good to say, something good to do. Um, the main article that I wanted to talk about was the genetically modified food article. Now that is a hot topic um, in the non-horse world as well. But this one, um, usually when you talk about genetically modified foods in the horse world, it's, it's really biased one way or the other. This one was actually not biased at all. It showed the pros, it showed the cons, it had demonstrations of the pros and the cons for everything, but it didn't show a conclusion that you should follow. It showed an opinion of the author at the end, but that was only at the end once she showed all the pros and cons and how she felt about it. So I really enjoyed this magazine. This was one of my better reads. It was done quickly, which means I can get to my next book that I'm reading. So thank you very much for listening to me. And I think really the Canadian Horse um, um, actual magazine is one that, if you're into horses, you should sub subscribe to too. Um, again, this year I'm going off magazines for the year to get caught up on my books. And then the year after I'll go back on my magazines. So thanks so much for listening. That's all I got to say.